Thank you, Katarina, for the introduction. And I'm excited to welcome all of you to my today's presentation. I'm, I will uh, show you our ongoing projects today uh, with a focus on the unlocking the history. So through three day laser uh, scanning uh, of the ARC DO, its atomic war command, the biggest military secret of the former Yugoslavia. But before we dive into that, let me introduce our company first. Geobiro is the largest rain company in the Bosnia and Herzegovina with more than 19 staff in the team including uh, mechanical, architectural, civil, as well as the uh, survey engineers that with the collective experience of 21 years. In the 20, in 20 years, the Gear Bureau uh, by the 50% shareholders of one uh, German company called BMM Services, which operate in the field of the laser scanning in the Europe, in the, Euro in the whole European Union. And uh, together as a partner, we, we develop scan to BMM scan to CAD drawings and models uh, for them. Uh, as the biggest uh, company, surveying company in the Boston and the Herzegovina, we operate in the dynamic field of the surveying geodesy. As well, not to worry, uh, Geo Bureau claims as a prominent uh, role in the, uh, Europe as a uh, <clears throat> Sorry, as a premium partner for the scan to bin and scan to CAD outsourcing work that operates worldwide. Uh, on the next slide, I will show you the historical background of this uh, national monument in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Uh, the name is Atomic War Command, also called the code name Istanbul or Object 505. Uh, in 1953, the construction of this um, uh, facility had begun in the complete sec secrecy under the uh, control uh, in the time of the Yugoslavia under the leadership of the Josip Broz Tito, and the main aim was the, to uh, secure a shelter in the uh, event of the nuclear strike or the other catastrophic uh, event. In 1979, this facility uh, is constructed and taken over to the Yugoslavian army, which consists of 16 staff uh, that um, maintain the building. Uh, even, in the, this, even after the construction of this facility, it was the top secret in former Yugoslavia, and even high-ranking uh, high ranking, the officials didn't know about its existence. In 1992, uh, on the start of Bosnian War, there was the order from the Belgrade, from the Yugoslavian army, to destroy this facility, but thanks to guys, Bosnian guys in the uh, uh, Yugoslavian, uh, Yugoslavian army, uh, who despite the order, this uh, facility is saved till today. Uh, in, and, uh, since the 1995, this monument is under control of the uh, Ministry of Def Defense of the Bosnia and Herzegovina. Moving forward in 2007, it is tra transferred to the federal government on the Bosnia and Herzegovina. Uh, in 2011, um, after the Ministry of Defense of Bosnia and Herzegovina, together with the NATO, declares this facility as a military non-space perspective, it's open to public. Uh, the space of this uh, facility is used for the Biennale of Contemporary Arts, DO Underground, which is, uh, according to the Council of Europe, the most important uh, cultural event in the Europe in, in 2011. Uh, 2040, this monument is uh, declared as the national monument of the Bosnia and Herzegovina. Uh, since 2070, local uh, economical development agency, uh, Prvi Korak, or First Step on English, take over to, on the maintenance of the bunker. And today it uh, serves as a cultural center and museum that offering the interactive uh, guide, uh, guided tours for the tourists who want to learn more about Cold War area, as well for the tourists who want to experience the underground facility. On the next slide, we'll talk uh, about the construction and purpose of this uh, facility. This facility is constructed uh, for the Josip Broz Tito and the other 350 other officials, uh, political and the military officials, uh, in the Yugoslav to serve as a refugee in the uh, event of the nuclear or the other catastrophic event. It's uh, located in Konitz in Bosnia and Herzegovina, my hometown. And um, <coughs> it's strategically located in mountains with the deepest point in 280 meters below the ground. The main aim of this tunnel, as I said, it was to, to, sh uh, to uh, use as a shelter for the uh, high-ranking officials. Uh, regarding the construction, we can uh, divide it into three parts. The first part is external part, as you can see on this picture uh, on the right. Uh, it's the, it contains three uh, 
brick uh, building that are, looks like normal uh, Bosnian buildings, uh, houses, and this is used like camouflage for the for the bigger uh, bigger tunnel uh, uh, inside. The next part is the tunnels uh, that connects uh, the external part and the underground tunnel part. In the same time, it was uh, it have the function of cushioning. Uh, uh, nuclear attack, and the third part is underground nuclear uh, sh uh, shelter that has uh, the area more than six and five hundred square meters with the 12 uh, connected blocks and 21 installed infrastructure system that was used to building maintenance and functionality. Uh, also, it's important to say, say that this building is uh, designed and constructed to be self-sufficient with the uh, own power generation, with the air uh, water purification, air, air qualification system, it was sustained to, uh, it was built to sustain uh, its inhabitants for the up to six months if in the event of the nuclear uh, strike. Also, it's, it's built to withstand the nuclear attack. Uh, it's encased in the thick layers of the reinforced concrete and steel that ensures normal activity for the stuff in the event of the uh, nuclear strike of the destruction power of 20 kilotons. On the next slide, I'm talking about uh, conservation, preservation, uh, cult cultural heritage. Documentation uh, on the cultural and the historical heritage is the first step by preserving uh, cultural heritage monuments and their transmission to the future generation. Uh, documentation on geometry on these buildings is created such a way that uh, geometry information are taken from the old and often unavailable documentation. For, so for this monument and also for the old monuments of this type, it's necessary to carry out the survey, the measuring the old uh, whole the building using the advanced uh, survey techniques like uh, s um, uh, laser scanning. Point clouds helps uh, in preserving uh, historical uh, heritage and cultural heritage by, uh, provide, uh, by offering the high invasive and accurate capturing of the details of the physical details of the object. As a result, we have uh, 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 this technology works the way that it utilizes the laser beam that measures the distance between the scanner and the uh, uh, object surface and creating three exact t 3D representation of the scanned environment. Uh, by <coughs> converting this uh, monument from the real world to the digital world, Using 3D laser scanning enables us to uh, have a, a reliable basis for the creating digital twin. So it's a di digital copy of the, of the of the real building, which is the solid base for the future preservation and demolition, as well for the conservation and re reconstruction processes. The projects. Um, uh, it was the idea to prepare the whole uh, renovation study of the nat national heritage uh, of uh, monument arc D O Titus bunker. Given the abscess, the available data, it was necessary to uh, carry out this, uh, 3D laser scanning surveying. This scope of works we can divide into three tasks. The first task is the laser scanning the whole monument uh, according to uh, a predefined plan. The next task is according to the information that we get from the uh, 3D laser scanning the point cloud to create as built drawings, uh, scan to beam, scan to, get to create a beam model and as well 2D drawings. And the next part is to complete the whole study for the rehabilitation and the restoration of the building. Our team play one of the key roles that uh, provided uh, 3D laser scanning and uh, high accuracy uh, 3D model in the form of the point cloud that he uses as a basis for the all further tasks. Uh, on this project. Uh, next step will be, uh, according to the point cloud, we provided to prepare uh, uh, BIM model uh, of uh, existing condition as built, as built model. On the next slide, I will show you the path for, from the site to the as built model. Uh, the first uh, phase is the establishing a survey network. It's the basis, the uh, uh, geodetic basis that is, was used for the determining the cultural marks coordinates, which will be later used for the georeferencing on the point cloud. The next step is according to the uh, prepared plan of scanning to scan the whole the building. For this monument, we use the Trimble TX5 scanners which have, the, according to the client specification, uh, they can measure up to one million points per second. 
and also we needed 505 scans to cover the, all the buildings. The fun facts here is that we needed the same number of scans to cover the, all the building as the name of the uh, code name of the bunker is 505. Next step is uh, point cloud registration in the software called Trimble uh, RealWorks. Uh, each scan has its or origin in the center of scanner. Uh, reducing all the, uh, all, the, all the scans into one system is called point cloud registration, and as a, res a result of this uh, process, we have the uh, register point cloud in the local system. Next step uh, will be the georeferencing, so transforming the point cloud from the local to the global system according to the control marks that are determined to be uh, with using the classic surveying methods. And the final step is exporting point cloud to the format for further use as well with the um, preparing 360 uh, panoramic viewer for better understanding of the, of the monument. On this slide, we can see the result of uh, our work. It's a high accuracy 3D model in the form of the point cloud that captures all the detail inside the bunker. With the minimal uh, cloud to cloud error of four millimeter, it represents the reliable data for, more, uh, for many uh, future uh, applications. By transferring this model from the real life to the digital life, the basis for the conservation and restoration is created as well for the uh, facility management, uh, improved facility management as well. And to conclude, National uh, Monument of the Boston Hedgehog, the RQDO, stands as the solid testament for uh, to cold uh, war area uh, with the staggering cost of 4.6 billion dollars. It's the third most expensive project of former Yugoslavia. Moving forward to the um, Today, this facility uh, is also uh, valuable for the local government that attracts more than 25,000 uh, tourists every year to visit it. Moving forward to rehabilitation and restoration phase, this absent, the absence of the reliable data poses a challenge. Leveraging modern techniques such as laser scanning uh, becomes imperative. Uh, moving forward to documentation and conservation phase, uh, Preparing the digital bin, uh, digital twin according to the point cloud data was imperative, and this was the solid basis for all further works on this monument. Uh, focus on conservation over restoration emphasized the commitment to produce uh, historical values and authenticity of the, of the national monument to the future generation. Thank you for your attention. And uh, if you have some question, I'm willing to answer you.